Okay, so for this, this is question 1.4. Okay, so uh, application of symmetric uh, property 4. So in case you're not sure what this is, this means that uh, tangent from external point or basically equal tangent. That means if we have two tangent shooting from an external point onto a circle, then this means that the uh, two tangents will be equal, right? Okay, so with that, we will look at uh, question 1.4. Okay, so question 1.4 here, we have uh, PQ and qt are uh, tangents to the circle okay so if we just observe uh, this triangle itself right we can see that this triangle we have two tangents shooting from an external point so these two will be equal right so without further ado let's write down okay pq will be equals to pt right because these are what we call equal tangents so we just write down the property every time you do uh, write down the property that you use <clears throat> so this is equal tangents right so after that, you will know that triangle PQT, right, is isosceles triangle, right? Triangle PQT is an isosceles triangle, right? So from here, next, what do we do? Uh, you can see that, therefore, angle PQT will be equals to 180 degrees, subtract 64, divided by 2, which gives you a 58 degree, right? So the reason for this is basically just the base angle of an isosceles triangle okay so this is just equals to 58 degrees right at the same time we notice that we see a tangent here right we see a tangent here which suggests that tangent perpendicular to radius right angle pqo will be equals to 90 degrees right at the same time we know that angle pqo sorry pqo or pqs right? pqo is equals to 90 degrees right the reason here we can just write down that the radius is perpendicular to the tangent therefore angle uh, sqt will basically be angle pqo subtract with angle pqt right angle uh, sqt will just be pqo subtract pqt which gives us uh, the total of 90 degree minus 58 which is 32 degrees, right? And with that, we are done. Thank you.